Hello everybody, Michael here. Today I'm going to show you how I can work with GitHub and I would like to add SSH case to make my work as seamless as possible, as easy as possible. So let's see how we can do this. So I have a pretty much new account created here on GitHub. So I'm going to go in there, see how it's going to work out for me. It's all empty. I haven't really done anything here yet. So I'm going to start by creating my first ever repository. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to label it like try one sort of show off how to work with Reposi, repositories yeah well eventually it is the sshk that is the most important part but let's see how this sort of first i think i should be i want to just to create the repository to start with so here is one this is the readme file uh -huh. Yeah, you know what? I can actually edit it here. So edit it online. So that maybe that is not often you do that, but it, it is still nice and feature. Good to know that you can do that. So I'm going to save this. It's not called saved, so I'm going to commit it. So every, every change I do here is committed with a message. So there we go. Excellent. I'm gonna move myself down there so you can see what's behind me. So there we have the first ever repository. Remember, we're gonna go to SSH case. But why? Why do we want to have SSH case? Yeah, because of this. So when I can, when I want to clone this uh, to my local uh, workstation here, I am. I can usually do it through HTTPS or I can do it with SSH. But here we see, I need to add a public key here. Okay, maybe I should just open that up and see what it says. Oh, okay, I need to add it here. Okay, fine. Very helpful. Um, the other way then, HTTPS, I can use that also. But we want to use SSH. But just to begin, let's see how it works when we are using HTTPS, because that is the way it is. It's also working. So I'm going to clone that. Did I copy that? So, so just to show how we can work with this, I'm going to start first by sort of, I think I need to move this around so I can have my small terminal somewhere in the back. Let's make it a big large as we see what's happening. So I'm gonna make a work directory where I can be. Make dir work and let's move into the work directory and here I'm gonna clone the clone the repository then. So this is the HTTPS link. So I can clone it and I can go into try one and it's like sort of an empty empty directory besides that file. So just for the fun of it, I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to change something. So I'm going to do it like this, edit locally, just so we have a change. I'm going to save it. I'm going to do a git status to see. Yes, I have modified it. So let's commit it. Git commit for all files with this message locally modified for the fun of it so there we go so i can do a git status again yeah my branch is ahead that means that i have done more changes in my branch locally here uh, than the remote branch that i'm sort of connected to and what is the remote branch that is remote minus is it V? Yes, it is. So this is the remote branch that I'm sort of matching my local uh, my local code with. And the remote branch then, that is obviously the one we have here. Okay, so I have committed. I have made a change. So may, let's put push, push it. So I'm going to do a git push to make my local stuff go up there. Okay. 
Uh, let's see what happens if I just remove this. This is, seems to be friendly. I don't want to use my browser for now. I don't want to use the code. Okay. So it still wants me to add so, sort of a username. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna remove that. That is quite friendly. It looks like that on, at least on Windows. It doesn't look like this on my Unix machine, and I'm not sure how it's gonna look on Mac. But it's going to look like this on my uh, Linux machine. So it wants me to ask for my cred credentials. Let's see if I can provide it to them. Then I get another pop-up there. I don't want to use that, so I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna write it down here directly. Uh, so let's see. Hmm. Let's see if I could write in my password. Um, there we go. Let's try one more. Uh, I don't want to sign in with my browser. Michael minus Rose. That is the username. So I'm going to write in my password here instead. There we go. Hmm. Authentication failed. Why is it troubling me so much? Hmm. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look here. Wow. So it's saying I can't really do this. Oh. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to have a hard time sort of committing through HTTP here. Maybe it's a way around it. I really don't care for now. So I'm going to go ahead and do it the other way. So I'm going to do like they asked me to do here. I'm going to go with SSH and create a new public key here. So how could I do that? Ooh, let's take the long way to get here. Okay. So in my in my profile there, I think I have a setting there. So I'm going to go with a setting there. And in my setting, I have a lot of things I could add. So one of those would be the SSH case here. So we have no SSH case with this account. So I want to create a new SSH case. So here is a guide. These guides will be helpful. So I want to add a new K. Okay, but I want to have some help to generating it. Mm -hmm. So I want to generate a new SSH case because I, I just, no, I don't have one. So I'm going to skip all this generating a new SSH K. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and do that. So and also I'm going to do this as simple as I can do it. So I'm going to create, I'm going to take this and I'm going to see if I can get some help here. Oops. Let's start again. Here, I'm going to change this to a more reasonably something like that could be a nice email address to have. Okay. So I'm going to create the sort of the sshk here so yes that is a fine file so it's gonna store store it in that file that, that's fine with me um here i'm i'm not going to use a passphrase here so i'm going to keep this really simple no passphrase for now and something happened okay excellent so the files are stored there. So I should be able to do like minus L perhaps on my, that would be in my home directory. So that is a tilde for that. And SSH, maybe I could do like this. Maybe I could sort of uh, copy that. And could I paste it down there? Yes. So I have a pub file there. Yep. And I have a private file there. So these are my key files. So excellent. I have generated SSH case locally here. 
uh, with, with the git bash tool. So now I'm going to take the public key. So it will be this public key. And I'm going to see what it contains. So I'm going to cut it. So there we go. So here it is. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy that. This is the public part. So the public part, I'm going to go up here. And where are we? We are somewhere. Yes. Let, let's just see again. SSH case. Create a new SSH key. I'm going to go there. And I'm going to say git bash for show off. Just so saying. Okay, so this is my public key. And when I add it here, as long as I have access to my private key, which I which I have in the same directory, I should be able to sort of use SSH authentication with these keys. So now let's see if this will work. So let's go back here. Where is my... Uh... This is my repository. Here we go. So... Now I'm going to go with SSH and okay, the yellow one is away. So I'm going to take that one. And I'm going to clear this screen now. Uh, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to go up one level and I'm going to do a git clone. But this time I'm going to clone it from this remote URL instead. And since I already have a try there, I'm just going to label this try too. Uh, so I can work with them on the same time. So I'm going to go into my try to directory now. I can check remote, git remote minus v will show me. Okay, now I'm working with an SSH connection to GitLab. So let's see if I can uh, update the readme. Let's see. Edit locally like that. And I'm gonna save it. Git status. Git going fast now. Git status. Okay. Git commit all the changes. Uh, update locally. There we go. And git status just for the fun of it. Okay. Our branch here locally is ahead of origin main. And the remote the remote branch that is over here then so let's see let's git push it so git push i said there we go 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 and it magically work this is what i mean this is how it's going to be so git status no need to mess with the passwords and users authentication that really didn't work somehow looked partly disabled on my machine we don't care for now uh, but when i do this the sshk much less hassle if i only succeed in setting up the sshk and now i showed you the the, the most trivial way to set up an sshk there are more advanced ways but i only wanted sort of to create oops i only sort of created the key locally then i took my public key i copied the content of it and i added a new sort of ssh key here and here is in my settings, in the personal profile where I have all the keys, and I just add it. Okay? Well, that was all. So uh, I do know that this, there, is, there is more sort of... Uh, they want you to have a pause phrase, they want you to work with an SSH agent. Um, so yeah, you can do that. But if this is the first ever time that you are sort of connecting your uh, your your local terminal to your remote GitHub account, I would just advise take the easy path. And when that works, you can do it again, and you can set up additional security around your 
uh, around your keys. But let's avoid sort of trouble from the beginning and keep it real simple. So that is that for now. Uh, if I update my page there, we can see it was edited locally and we could also go in there. Where do we have the commit, 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 move yourself. We have the commits. Hey, code, main branch, zero tags. There we have three commits. Oh, so here we see all the commits we made. Uh, the initial one, the updated readme up there and the updated locally there. So everything is fine. Now you can move on to work and add your SSHK. So have fun. Bye bye.